Is there a bait that works better than just about any other bait when the water is falling, when you had high water and the water is dropping, 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 dropping? Is there a certain bait that'll catch more fish? Good morning, guys and girls. April 13, April 13. My goodness, I, we're getting close to tax day. Close to tax day. I think they're going to extend it around differently this year. I think we don't have to have them paid by April 15. So that's a pretty good deal. I hope everybody's got their taxes paid. I hope everybody made some money so they could pay taxes, you know, the way things have been going here lately. But uh, let's look at our catch of the day for April 13th. We're going to be in 1 Samuel. Who can stand before the Lord? This holy God. Wow. Only seven or eight words. Who can stand before the Lord, this holy God? Here's our devotional I wrote for that scripture. It's a lot of fun to watch people meet superstar fishermen, people like Hank Parker and Roland Martin and Bill Dance and Kevin Van Dam and on and on. It's a lot of fun to watch people when they first meet those guys that they've read about, they've heard about, they've seen on television all their life, and all of a sudden they're standing before them. Most pretty much take these big name guides in stride, but some folks get downright flustered when they meet a big fishing star. I once saw a guy, and this is the gosh honest truth, I once saw a guy get so excited meeting Bill Dance that he introduced his son to Bill and he forgot the boy's name. His own son's name, not Bill Dance's name. <laughs> I, I, it was it was embarrassing and it was sad. His little boy looked at him like, Dad, you don't even remember my name. But that's how excited he was to not only meet Bill Dance, but to get to introduce his son to Bill Dance. He just, he lost it. He couldn't remember his own son's name. I wonder what this guy might do when he stands before the biggest name of all time, the Almighty God. How might any of us act? What would we say? What would we do? You know, Bart Millard from uh, Mercy Me wrote a song that actually catapulted his entire career uh, into greatness in, in Christian music, and it's called I Can Only Imagine. You all are very familiar with that song, whether you're uh, involved in listening to Christian music or not. I can only imagine what I might do when I meet Jesus face to face. I can only imagine. And his song tells it all. What can we do? Will we sing hallelujah? Will we be able to even say anything at all? Will we jump and shout and cheer? Will we fall down on our knees? What will we do when one day we see Jesus face to face? When one day we stand before Almighty God? And according to the Bible, we will all stand before Almighty God. Let's see what the rest of this says. The truth is, without Jesus, we're all in trouble. But praise God, he has provided the way for us to come before him. With Jesus, we can confidently stand before the throne of God and know that we will be welcomed into his family. My goodness. We can stand with confidence before the throne of God and know that we will be welcomed in his family. Come on in, child. You're in this family. Come on in, child. Well done. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, our tip this week is uh, throw crankbaits when the water level is falling. That's right. Crankbaits. Uh, crankbaits. You know, I asked the question before this started, and uh, what would be the best bait? The best bait is crankbaits. One of the reasons that crankbaits are the best bait to, fall, to use when the water is falling is because you need to figure out the depth that the fish are located. If you're out there bass fishing and, uh, and you're catching fish in three foot of water and the water is falling, I don't care if it's falling just a few inches a day or if it's falling sometimes the whole three foot a day, the critical thing is not the place where you caught the fish, it's the depth that you caught the fish. And so crankbaits are one of those baits that if you're catching them four foot deep, you find a crankbait that's running four foot deep, and you fish that crankbait. It's the depth that's important, not the location. This has been a confusing thing for tournament fishermen for decades, is, is I go out there and find fish, the lake drops a foot, 
and I'm in trouble. I can remember down at down at uh, Chickamauga one time when I caught a huge bass in excess of 10 pounds on a jig, and I, I, I pitched that jig up under a bush, and I saw the fish swirl on it, and I, I didn't even set the hook. I just let it run around and it hooked itself, but it weighed over 10 pounds. When I went back there the first morning of the tournament, that was dry land, dry land. That's how much the water had dropped. The entire area where I was fishing, I never caught one single fish during that tournament. That whole area was gone. I mean, just simply gone. You could still get in there and fish. It was still water. You get up there and you were fishing and, and hoping that some of those fish that were on the, that shoreline, and it was really, really good, had moved out and you could catch them. And yes, I did. I threw crankbaits all around there. But the critical deal is not where they were located, it's how deep they were located. So once you figure that out, and crankbaits is generally the best thing to catch those fish. So when you have falling water, and if you have water that's falling really drastically, like it does a lot, you know, over the last several years, we've had an awful lot of rain in the south. Our lakes get really, really high, and then they try to pull them down as quickly as they can, and the water falls and falls and falls and falls. Put those crankbaits on. When I'm talking about a crankbait, some of you that just started fishing, this is what I'm talking about right here. That, that's a crankbait. And uh, a, a crankbait, on a crankbait, you know, it's, it's, it's got two, three types of bills on it. That's a deep diving crankbait because it's got a long bill. You can have a square bill on there, and that crankbait it has a bigger wobble, and it's for shallow diving. It's to be fished a lot more in the brush. That's a crankbait. Uh, that's just kind of a ba baby bass-colored crankbait, really good looking. This is an American Original Deep Smoothie made right here in, in America, uh, which is really, really good to fish with baits made right here in America. But uh, that's what a crankbait is. They call it a crankbait is because you throw it out there, you crank it in. You throw it out and crank it in. Could be called a wine bait. Throw it out, wind it in. Throw it out, wind it in. That's exactly what you do. Lots of things you can do with that bait, and we'll talk about them, obviously, in other tips. But uh, that's it right there. So, guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Remember, I love you.